buoyancy. That's the feeling that you feel when you're floating in the ocean and you feel the water pushing you up. Now, how large is that? It's, it's not just a feeling. It's something that we can quantify. How large is that buoyancy? Well, there's an easy way to remember it, and that is to weigh the fluid that has been displaced, and that's how much buoyancy you feel. So I'm gonna start with this uh, very common little scale here, and I'm going to attach it to this weight, which is a pound. And if I look up here, well, let's just start from scratch. So as I lift this, I see it goes off scale. It's actually only going to 4.9 newtons. I know that because I know what mass, it, what, what uh, weight it is that I'm pulling. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna come over to this water and I'm going to start to submerge that weight. And as I do, I see that the needle starts to lower. And when I have it all the way on the bottom there, I'm no longer lifting and it goes to zero. But as I start to lift it, you'll see that it's at about 4.6 Newtons rather than 4.9. So that means that I've displaced an amount of water that has a weight of 0.3 Newtons. If I can convert that to mass and then convert that to volume, I can figure out what the volume of water I am displacing is, namely what the volume of this weight is.